there's a whole host of opportunities for pharmacy. It's just exploding, the opportunities for pharmacy. Some of the things that are going on, pharmacogenomics, medical homes, accountable care organizations, um, REMS, electronic health records. The future's in our hands. One key area APHA and other stakeholder organizations are focusing on to improve outcome and reduce cost is the medical home's model of health care. So a patient comes into a medical home, they see the primary care provider. If the primary care provider decides that this patient needs to be referred to physical therapy, there'll be a physical therapist in the medical home. Pharmacists are the medication experts on the team. Chronic conditions have to be managed for years. Who better than the person that knows the most about medications to take the ball and then manage that in conjunction with the other members of the healthcare team. And if you pay the, the providers by outcomes rather than a fee for service, these incentives are aligned. Take a deep breath. APHA believes as those cost savings are realized, ACO payment models need to be utilized to ensure those savings benefit the entire healthcare system. You're providing good care, good quality outcomes, and you save money to the system, you will share in the savings. So you don't have to give all the money back to the government. Pharmacists, perfect place to be there, but we're not included in the statute. So what we need pharmacists to be doing is raising their hand and saying, I can, I can get in the game. I can help you guys save a lot of money. As new healthcare models are rolled out, APHA and its partner associations are working with the FDA to craft new REMS risk evaluation and mitigation strategies. What we've done is really served as a resource um, to advocate for improvements to the program so that there's more standardization of those programs as they're implemented and as we put them into practice. APHA believes pharmacists are an underused resource that can greatly reduce patient complications and costs during transitions of care. Patients get discharged from the hospital. They're given a half gallon baggie full of meds. They mess up taking the medications and we wonder why they're back in the hospital within 30 days. One thing the APHA Foundation is working on is helping support um, applications through the CMS Innovation Center for the Community-Based Community Care Transitions Program, which will help demonstrate the valuable role that pharmacists have in this area. Optimizing patient outcomes is also the goal of the emerging field of personalized medication treatments. Pharmacogenomics is personalized medicine. Many medications now have what they call biomarkers that indicate how a patient will respond based upon a certain genotype. And what pharmacists can help to do is to work with the other healthcare professionals on the patient's care team to interpret the patient's genotype along with those medications to determine the most effective and obviously cost effective as well as treatment effective uh, way we can, we can treat an individual patient. Stakeholders also believe increasing electronic health records access will also improve quality of care and lead to more savings. We've been working with other other uh, healthcare providers and other organizations to help develop the standardized electronic health record. It's not just a matter of whether you're going to do it, it's, it's, it's when you are going to be connected into, into these systems. There will be no way to provide patient care services, whether it's medication therapy management or immunizations or um, any type of health and wellness type of services if the pharmacist is not connected into the electronic health record services.